to host this great night of appreciation. And I want to thank God for First Mount Pleasant and our staff that are here working tonight. Amen. We appreciate you so very much. Amen. Our theme tonight, Beyond the Color, Amen. Jeremiah chapter 3. And I was so apropos uh, on tonight that we would uh, do that because Bishop and Co. is what they do. So much of what they do for us is beyond the, the collar. And uh, it wasn't my intention to illuminate that just a little bit, uh, but as Pastor Curry was preaching, God was shifting uh, something in me. Amen. So my attempt is that the anointing that flowed through him, that we would allow that same anointing to continue to flow. Exodus chapter 3, beginning at verse. Number 13, listen for the word of the Lord. Uh, Moses said to God, suppose I go to the Israelites and say to them, the God of your fathers has sent me to you. And they ask me, what is his name? Then what shall I tell them? My brothers and sisters, for a few minutes, as the Spirit Show got tonight, I just want to talk a little bit about the God that delivers. The God that delivers. The God that delivers. You may be seated. My brothers and sisters, it is interesting to me that uh, there are several faith traditions that exist. If you give me just a few moments, I'll very quickly uh, run through some of them for the purpose of teaching on tonight. Uh, one of the largest uh, spiritual groups that exists today are the Buddhists. Uh, Buddhism uh, has 362 million followers. Uh, their, their deity, Buddha, uh, encourages its followers uh, to live lives in such a way that they would experience what they call nirvana. Somebody say nirvana. Nirvana is reached by following the noble enlightened path, right views, right resolve, right speech, right conduct, right livelihood, right effort. Right mindfulness, right concentration. And they believe, the Buddhist that is, that uh, if you are to in fact achieve nirvana, then it comes from within. Uh, then we have the Hindus. Uh, the Hindus boast 820 million followers. Uh, they have three main gods. Uh, Brahma, Vashti and Shiva. Uh, there is no particular founder of Hinduism, uh, but they do believe their basic tenets of their faith is that the soul is so important that it never dies. Uh, you gotta watch, you gotta watch the, you gotta watch the Hindu because the Hindus believe that after you depart this life, that your soul does not die. Right. That, that somehow your soul continues to live on mm -hmm. in some other form. Y'all right. right. stick with me a minute. I'm right. Right. So, so the Hindu believes that in this life you could be a human, but in the next life you could be a cat. Fool with dogs, but I don't fool with cats. <laughs> you have the Confucians. The Confucianists boast 6.3 million followers. Uh, they have no clergy or anybody that has a responsibility of their progeny of faith. But the Confucianists believe that the ultimate goal of humankind is social order. Uh, they are big on some very familiar tenets 
Respect for parents and elders is the most important tenet of their, of their belief. Secondly, they believe that education is essentially uh, the second most important way in which to achieve spiritual success. Then you have Islam. Many of us are familiar with Islam. Islam has 1.2 billion followers. Uh, the name of their deity, much like ours, is the God Allah. Uh, they believe that their founder is Muhammad, who receives a book of the law, and although they have uh, no specific clergy, they have persons who have the responsibility of teaching the faith. Now, now the thing about Islam is that Islam is the fastest growing religion on the planet. Are y'all hearing me today? Uh, and, and, and Islam is growing so fast because, believe it or not, the majority of their converts and conversions happen through the criminal justice system. I'm not going to make you preach harder than I'm taking to the they, 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 They're growing so much because they have such uh, 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 a following in prison that it becomes amazing that you, like me, got some kid folk that went to jail Baptist and came out Asalamu I wish I had a witness or two in the building. Somebody wave your hand and say, I know what you're talking about. They, 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 they went in jail, ate pork, and came out, won't eat no pork at the family reunion. And, and, but, but Islam, Islam, my brothers and sisters, grows because the fundamental tenet of their faith is discipline. Give me a minute, I'll you. It is discipline. Somebody say discipline. That is so important tonight. My brother, and sisters because especially as it pertains to how they grow so fast in the criminal justice system because the majority of folk that find themselves in jail, especially young black and brown boys, is nine times out of ten because they didn't have discipline. And when you don't have discipline, when you are free, the criminal justice system will tell you, if you don't know how to act out there, you get it here and we'll give you some is, the fact of the matter is all of us desire to have discipline in our lives. Am I talking good? Somebody wave your hand and say, I desire to have discipline. If I pass the mic down the road, everybody in here got something that they're working on. I've been trying to lose 15 pounds for one year. I just need the discipline. I've been trying to go back to school, but I can't get uh, the mind to fill out the application. I don't have the discipline. I've got eight books in my spirit, but I can't find the time to sit down and get it out. I lack discipline. But this song grows because they teach discipline. They teach discipline. I want to suggest to you tonight, my brothers and sisters, that the successful life is one that is encompassed with discipline. All right. Let me move on. And then, my brothers and sisters, we have Judaism. Yeah. Oh, uh, you know about Judaism. Judaism has 14.5 million followers. All right. Uh, the Jews, my brothers and sisters, have uh, one God that they call Yahweh. Yeah. Uh, the founder of Judaism is Abraham. Pastor Curry talked a little bit about Abraham, that our that their holy book is the Hebrew Bible, not all of the canon that you and I read, but just the first five books of the Bible that they call the Torah. Yeah. Uh, the Judaism faith is practiced and taught by rabbis. And their basic belief is simply that there is only one God who watches over and cares for all of us. Right. My brothers and sisters, you may ask yourself, what was here? Take, why did you spend that time going through all of those religious groups that exist? I'm going somewhere because you have to understand, my brothers and sisters, that who you and I are today is because 
of where we come from. And I'd like to suggest to you, my brothers and sisters, that so often in the body of Christ, we never reach the next level of success that God has ordained because we don't understand who we are. Brothers and sisters, in our text tonight, we find Moses having a decree uh, to be able to go and to deliver the children of Israel. The issue with Moses delivering the children of Israel is this. While in Egyptian captivity, uh, Pastor Curry talked about how you got to be careful about who you surround yourself with. Because who you surround yourself with will eventually become who you are. Big Mama said it this way, birds of a feather flock together. And so while in Egyptian captivity, we have God's chosen people who now have to be uh, uh, encompassed about with a people who don't have a singular God. Uh, the children of Israel now have to learn what it's like to deal with Egyptian religion. And Egyptian religion was simply this. Where the Egyptians believed that you had a God for whatever you needed. Y'all ain't gonna say nothing. And so if you needed it to rain, you would pray to the rain God. And if you needed a harvest, you would pray to the God of the harvest. And if you needed healing, you would pray to the God that heals. And I talk to anybody. Not only that. And so and so and so it is that for, for, for over 400 years we have the children of Israel who find themselves estranged from the God of their salvation. They find themselves wanting to be able to pray to the one God, but inside of them they're around people who have taught them to pray to whatever God that you need. Y'all ain't shut down. I just stop by for a few moments. I got about eight minutes left to tell somebody that if you really want to be delivered, if you really want to break through, if you really want to go to the next level in God, you got to understand the God of your salvation. Can you do me a favor? Slap your neighbor a high five and tell them, neighbor, do you even know what you're serving? Thank you. 